Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to set up an e-commerce website using Bagisto, which is, which is built on the Laravel platform. So we'll be implementing an e-commerce store like this one over here, which is their demo store. So we'll learn how to set this up and install it as well as setting up products using their admin panel. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first we're going to install Bagisto into our development directory. So here in their documentation, we can just follow these instructions. So first it says here to install, install Bagisto using Composer. Okay, so back in your terminal, you just wanna paste this. Okay, great, so this has been installed. Okay, so we're gonna CD into Bagisto and then open it in VS Code. Okay, great, so all our files are here. Next, we just need to update the environment variables. So over here, we can change the URL to the one your local host is using. So in my case, it's bagisto.tests. Okay, and then after we'll just add in our database credentials. Okay, great, so back in our terminal, we can run the next command. So over here, in the, in the documentation, just run the install script. Okay, so php artisan bagisto install. This will run all the migrations. Okay, great, so we have our admin panel working. So let's just sign in using the credentials they provided. So it's admin at example.com, and then admin123. So here's the admin dashboard. So you can see all the customers, the sales. And then if we view the front end over here, great. So this is our storefront that we have right now out the box. So with Bogisto, it makes it really easy just to have a starter site with a nice looking template. And you would just need to customize the theme to match your brand. So changing the logo, updating the images, of course. So it seems like there's a lot of features out the box, such as local localization, wish list, search functionality, from what I see so far, as well as like a compare feature. And of course your e-commerce functionality, such as signing up for an account and being able to make a payment online. Okay, great. So now we can focus on how to set up products and manage your Bugisto shop. Okay, so first let's look at the settings, what they have available. So general, okay, so just based on what units you're using. So you're able to turn on and off these features that it comes with out the box. And of course you're able to add CSS and JavaScript down below. Okay, so just, this is based on the cal catalog configurations, so inventory products and snippets. So this is for uh, SEO. Okay, so I think everything by default seems good here based on products to allow guest checkout. So that's something you can keep on or off. Then here in the customers, what, what information you'd like to capture as well as the captures. So this helps with preventing spam and then settings. So the wish list enable sharing. So I, I like that feature. So let's turn that on and then you can just click save to enable. So you can allow newsletter subscriptions. So I'd like that as well. And then email verification is important to prevent uh, spam accounts on your website. So click save. And that's great that they also have social logins available by default. So next we can check emails in production. You can set up a SMTP, which will allow you to set up email notifications. So that'll be all done through here. And then as well as managing your notifications. So there's a lot of features out the box with Bagisto. So sales, so again, this is just your shipping. They have a little shipping methods. So payment methods, you'll need to add in all of your API keys here. So it seems like PayPal is what standard that it comes with. Okay, and this is just setting up orders and invoices here. Okay, so that concludes the setting portion, the configuration portion, and then also there's some more settings here. So localizations, currency, exchange rates, so inventory sources. Okay, let's look here into channels and users. Seems to allow you to manage multiple Bagisto shops under one, one admin panel. So that can be useful if you're serving different demographics, so different branches. So maybe one in Asia and one in Europe. So that can be added here and then users. This is where you would add your users. So you'd have your admin users. So let's see what is available here. Yeah, so they just seem to have admin users. Okay, and then after the other stuff is taxes and velocity. Okay, so this just seems to be a slider here. Okay, so let's just enable dark mode here. 
since I think that looks easier on the eyes. Okay, so apart from the dashboard, available configuration is the order. So this is where you would manage your orders, shipments, invoices, refunds, transactions, and bookings. Okay, so we'll get to the products after. And then here's the customers. So your available customers, as well as your marketing features are here. So email marketing, promotions, and sitemap. And then you can create additional pages here. Okay, great, so that's just a rough overview of the Logisto admin panel. So next, let's just work on trying to create a product. Okay, so first just go to product and let's just create a basic t-shirt. Okay, so they have different products. So simple, configurable, vir virtual, downloadable, bundle, grouped, and booking. So we'll just stick to the just simple products for now. And then you can put in a SKU. So let's just say, 1001 say product okay great so we can add in our products here so the name so let's just say black shirt and then we're able to add some marketing features so if it's featured or new visible individually i think that should be on and the guest checkout is enabled and then status i'm guessing that's the description is required so a nice black t-shirt another description black t-shirt that it's high quality cotton. Okay, so this is just for SEO. So the meta description, okay, so this is important to the price, let's say $20. And then that's the only thing that's required. And then next is the shipping. So the weight, let's say one kilogram inventory. So let's say we have 100 units and then we can add an image. So let me just get an image of a t-shirt here. Okay, so I found an image of a t-shirt, so let's just add that in. Oops, so just saying, you just need to drag it in. And videos, you can add videos, categories. So we can edit this after by adding like an apparel or shirt category, and then channels, which shop you'd like to sell this. So just our default shop, and then it seems like you can do upselling as well. So you can edit that here. And we're gonna click save. And then here it is on our website. So it shows all the details here. So you can really showcase your products. So let's just try to add a category. So go here into category, add new category. Let's just say t-shirts visible in menu. Yes, position, let's make it one. Product and description, t-shirts. And then again, just add the same image. Yeah, so you can just make it look nicer with the banner. So we'll just skip that for now. Okay, and then this log, and this is again for SEO. So let's just save this category. Okay, and then let's see here. Let's go back to our website and refresh. Okay, to edit the header content, we're just gonna first, back in our products, we'll just add the t-shirt under the t-shirt category. So just add it in category, put it both in root and t-shirt. Okay, and then to edit the menu, we're gonna go here into velocity. So this is where you can update your your headers as well. So here in header content, then we can just add the content list. Let's say t-shirts, position zero, and then slash t-shirts, double check our categories to see if that's correct. So back in velocity, let's just double check. So the header content is there. So let's check it out on our website. Great, so now it's over here. You can see t-shirts and then we can click that. Okay, so I think because I just it's a double slash here. So let's just check how the category URL is. Okay, so t-shirts. Okay, so what we have to do to be able to access our t-shirt categories, which is, was just to make sure that we enabled the root category as the parent category. So now if we go back to our store, then the t-shirt category is available here now, which looks like this. So we have our uh, t-shirts available here. So again, let's just fix the URL here. Let's just remove the extra trailing slash. Okay, so back here in velocity, let's just go to edit and then header content. Let's just edit this and then remove the extra slash here. Okay, and then save that. And then let's just look over our categories again. So t-shirt over here, and then let's just add in more attributes so that there's more filters. So we can just select all of these and then click save. And then let's view that again. Yep, so now here are the filters. You can filter by size and color. Okay, so that's how you set up products and then a category. Okay, so next to add our products to the homepage, we can just use their 
features here where you can set it as new and featured and now allow the products to show on the home page we click save and then view our store okay and then we see our featured products here so let's work on just cleaning up the home page here so in our dashboard we can go over to velocity then over here in images they're just advertisements so we can just remove all of these and the footer you can add stuff in the footer here so these are just links and then update okay so the page content you can just remove their short codes here so let's see what they have just these are just advertisements yeah so we want to just remove anything that shows um advertisements so include shop advertisement okay and then advertisement two you can remove that okay and then this one as well so let's save that and see how this looks okay great so we have our products included here already so now it just shows our products without any of the advertising okay and then with the slider here we can turn it on or off okay and then over here is creating a slider so if you want to add, add a new slider you can do that here as well okay great so next let's look at adding new pages so go over here into pages and then add page so let's just say launch sale a URL key so let's just say launch and then the channel so the default channel okay so that's been saved so let's just check it out here okay great so yeah so you would need to do a little bit of HTML editing but the URL structure is just the page and then the slug. So you're able to create custom pages here as well. But again, yes, with adding additional content, you would just have to edit the code here. So you can just use uh, HTML to add in more images as well. Not necessarily HTML, but you can um, even add images directly with their content editor here. So we can just add in an image. Okay, so just add in the shirt and then click save. And then if we preview that, yep, so images as well, you can just edit here. And then you can just update the styling through the editor or with custom code. So of course, just uh, formatting everything uh, center, align center. And then yeah we do that everything is centered over here and then let's just add this page into the menu bar here so over here into velocity again and then header content and add content list launch position i believe it's two now and then category slug at page launch and then save content and then back in our store yep so it's over here now okay great so lastly let's just look over the checkout process so you can add to cart okay and then over here we can go into cart and then checkout And then here's the checkout process. So you would just fill in your details and then that would allow you to be notified about any orders here. But you first need to set up your payment methods here in sales. So you can do that with, with just a PayPal account here. Okay, great. So now we have our own e-commerce store using Logisto and Laravel. So out the box, you don't need to do much customization. But if you'd like more features, they also have additional extensions over here in their Bagista app marketplace, which are paid. So if you're looking for, let's say, I think Stripe is not available. So if you're looking for Stripe, okay, great. So Stripe 
has a payment gateway is available for free. So you would just install this extension. It would be available as a payment method for your e-commerce store. So Woodbook is still it's quite expandable depending on the needs of your e-commerce stores as they offer a lot of extensions that allow you to further expand the functionality of the biggest old platform. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to set up your own e-commerce website using Bugisto. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.